Hi Linda, I'm just going to quickly take you through the remote assistance workflow that I've set up here. So on your dad's computer he'll have an icon request help which he'll double click on and it'll automatically go through the wizard, send off the email to you. Now while it's doing all this, uh, it's blocking his keyboard and mouse just so that he doesn't accidentally click somewhere else on the screen and mess up the automation. But once the email's been sent, his keyboard and mouse are then unlocked. So the email's been sent off, now switching over to your computer, you'll have an email and you'll just need to open up the attachment and enter the password which I'll give you in an email and then it's going to ask him if he wants to allow you to connect uh, the script will automatically take care of clicking yes that'll normally be instantaneous but I've just put in a pause just so that you can see what's going on here so it's clicked yes we are now on your computer and we are viewing his screen but we don't have control of his computer yet so to get control you click on request control and once again it'll ask him if he wants to allow that the script again takes care instantaneously of clicking the yes button now we have control you do whatever you need to do and then once you're ready to disconnect you click on disconnect now you can see down here in the system tray that uh, the script is paused it's waiting for a disconnection notice because once you disconnect it's going to ask him uh, sorry, it's not going to ask him anything. It's going to keep the remote assistance window open so it'll take care of closing it down for him. So we'll just click on disconnect. Yes, we're sure. And then switching back to his computer, it closes down the window and takes care of clicking on yes to this. Are you sure you want to close it? So that's the workflow. Hope you like it.